What's up, Andrew? What's up, Joshua? What's, What's up, up, Trevor? Hey, boys. Hey, happy to be back. It's good to have you back, Trev. Good yeah, welcome, back. Uh, welcome into the Hall of Chronicles, episode thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah, lucky, lucky number. <laughs> lucky. Here we are. Here we are. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a spell, but uh, we're back. Well, we did a couple of podcasts really close together. Yeah, and then we went a bit longer than a week to do the next one. So that's the way it is. Yeah. That's what happens when hey, life happens. Hey, we thank you out there for your patience uh, and or uh, lack of patience. I hope you're angry that it's been this long since we've had our last pod. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> and then mildly relieved that we're back. Yeah. Yeah, we're still here. We're still here. You know, yeah, uh, here we are, uh, Hollow Chronicles. Uh, you can find us on Twitter, at Hollow Chronicles. You can find us on Instagram, at Hollow Chronicles. You can even watch us on YouTube, hopefully. Hey, we should probably put out there, right, just for full transparency do it uh we attempted to do a podcast and record <laughs> yeah. our podcast for number 12 yes and uh left it live which had none of the action that we needed for it to uh for it to for it to be you know uh, something you could view live which is really great uh which means that you didn't get to hear anything so we're sorry we're sorry but you know it happens hey this is the way it is sometimes uh well what people probably have already figured out josh is that we are amateurs no <laughs> probably Stop. trying to be professional Stop it. we are amateurs posing as trying to be professionals <laughs> keep uh, posing <laughs> good looking amateurs. Good the only looking thing amateurs. the only thing authentic about this podcast is that uh it's we're gonna screw up some things gotcha and and that we love star wars sure so so josh are you ready for a little bit of news what? I'm completely ready for news, so let's do it. Star Wars news! Since the Episode Nine uh, trailer dropped, it's, of course, it's all over the internet. It's all over what, uh, social media and what they're talking about. There's probably thousands of reaction videos now because everybody knows now that they're a thing, and we did ours, too, and it, yeah. they're fun. And I would love watching every single one of them. I'd like I, to call our reaction video the up the nostril reaction video. Because <laughs> of the camera angle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, glad I didn't have any bats in the cave, if you know what uh, I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, it was it was interesting any, watching it back. Jumpers. I, you know, because all I could think was like, all right, we've got to get this reaction video done. And I'll set the camera over here. And then I watch it back and I'm like, wow. Yeah. How about a trim? <laughs> 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 it was... <laughs> It was it was oh, it was interesting. Boy. So you're welcome. It well, there was uh, there's been there's a been... Minoc in the cave. Sorry, yeah. my bad. I guess so. There, uh, yeah. Or a Minoc in the Exogorth. Yeah. Oh, man. Those Exogarths. You guys are nervous. They keep <laughs> cropping up everywhere. Nerd. A booger <laughs> reference that yeah. is gone way out it. of the we galaxy. So um, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen the trailer uh, an uncountable amount of times. If you include all of the reaction videos that I've watched and um, I, the ones that are my favorite and I posted uh, which ones are my favorite and shout out to the guys that heard that I said that they were my favorite and they responded back to me. That's on cool. That was yeah. really cool. Mark Thompson, uh, the cyber nerds. Um, and, uh, and then there was a bunch of reactions from celebration uh, whether they were in the auditorium that it yeah. was, or, you know, that the panel was in, or if it was outside and just people watching on screens, um, I love those. And what I've in in every single one, whether it's just somebody at home on their you know laptop watching it, or if it's crowds of people, the biggest reaction was to the title. Yeah, the title yeah. was was the reaction that was yep. that had ours the, too i think that, was that had the biggest it wasn't for me because it got wasn't. spoiled yeah, spoiled. Actually, yeah. yeah your guys is but it end. probably would have i mean, I, mean it, I, I guess i can't say for sure but was without it like question it was, it was like a slip when you got it and it kind of was like oh, yeah it was like oh, oh man you you didn't yeah. know it but you just ruined it yeah. for me. you didn't actually ruin it but you just spoiled the title anyway i find that telling because as much as the sequel trilogy has been about kind of, you know, losing some of the old characters sure. and replacing with the new and their storyline. Um, 
still the biggest reaction out of now what is the third movie in the in the series uh was the rise of skywalker that right. that connection to whether it be anakin or whether it be luke um that still gets I, the gets i appreciate all the name updates on uh twitter with the the rise of uh at handle it's great the rise of whatever their name normally was i i feel like following along but the rise but actually, of the hollow chronicles yeah 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 the rise of the hollow chronicles um <clears throat> so anyway i just i found that to be kind of telling of where the fandom is at that even though you know people some people love the fact that we've got new characters and it's about them and it's less about the old characters and some people hate that and whatever but still the biggest draw you have to is be, that skywalker name as a fan of star star wars you have to uh definitely give some appreciation to the skywalker name no matter where it drops yeah and i think that you know it's like we're pay some homage pour one out for the exactly Walkers. and and i think no matter where you're at on the spectrum <laughs> you know if you're Let's pour one out right here on the, <laughs> on the pot i'm gonna pour yeah. one in oh, hey, cheers bro. Yeah. Yeah. cheers right. to you right, right. for the skywalker everybody take one for the skywalker yeah yeah, yeah the demise of skywalker <laughs> or this pod <laughs> or this might podcast, be these drinks yeah. um but i think that no matter where you're at in in your opinion of the films to incorporate you know the skywalker f- name and right. and family Keep is to is to include so you know genius move by whoever came up with that title oh, and whoever comes up with these trailer you know clips together they should there should be a, a category in the Oscars for best, best trailer, trailer. <laughs> because, best teaser because they're so good and and of course I don't know me being who I am after watching the episode nine trailer it makes me go back and watch the episode eight the episode yep. seven trailers yep. too yep. and there is so much misdirection in those trailers that like hey we're gonna show you this and make you think this. But what actually happens in the movie is something else. Like an episode, like uh, The Force Awakens, we get a shot of Kylo and the Knights of Ren. And they literally have the same amount of screen time in the movie that you see in the in the trailer. Right. Like yeah. we think they're right. going to play a big role. They were a, a flashback memory vision. Right. They had no part. And they didn't in the next movie either. And so and people talked about it for. Yeah. Months. I was like, yeah. Huge and huge. of course, they're going to. And we're going to we're going to we're going to love some things love some ideas and hate some ideas and then come back to loving those ideas probably six or seven different times in the next eight months um, until the actual movie comes out because of course that's what we're going to do. But so I, I'm, I'm ready to give you guys a couple of pessimistic. Yeah. Here's what you were shown, but this is what's actually going to happen. Ideas here. You guys ready for this? I'm ready. Yeah. Let's okay. Um, first one. Uh, I, this is going to, it's going to upset some people. Mm. But right now, Ooh. here's what I think. <clears throat> Kylo dies unredeemed. He's the bad guy. He stays the bad guy. He ends as the bad guy. Interesting. So why do you say that? I don't know. Just because everybody wants it to happen so badly that he gets redeemed. And because Star Wars, a theme of Star Wars is redemption. Right? It is in a lot of movies, too. The redemption story is... People love that because... Deep down, we all know that we screw up right. and we want to be forgiven and we want to be redeemed and restored, right? That we want those for ourselves. So even if we're looking at the baddest man on in the galaxy, um, who currently is Kylo Ren, we want that to happen. A lot of people want it to happen to restore a relationship between him and Ray. A lot of people want it to happen because that's what happened with Vader, sort of. And we'll get to that a little bit more later. But I think there's so, so much swell for, yes, this has to happen. Please, the guys, so it's got to happen. I, I gotta, I'm going to push back and go the other way with it because sometimes bad guys are bad guys mm. and they get snuffed out. Well, and I got a question with that then. Okay. Though, because, because isn't uh, – there's been a lot of talk that this is, is – um, the similarities between this and Return are – there's a lot, and they potentially there could have be. a lot. It's the yeah, end. There could be. It starts uh, with an R. It starts with an R. It has to be. It has yeah. to be some Revenge, kind of ending. Return. Rise. Are they going to end? Classic. Are they going to end with with Kylo being a, a bad guy? I, that's the question. I I, I right feel now, like, if you're asking me, yes. So you believe that? Right now, I do. Yeah. I might take that from you a little bit. Uh, so uh, what know. happened was, is I followed a thread, and. Uh, 
you know, we like to consider ourselves a positive Star Wars pod, right? Mm -hmm. Like we're going to look at the light side of all movies and we're going to try and find. And look, I, I said it before the pod and I said it afterwards. I have many issues with The Last Jedi. It, uh, you have more issues than Trevor and I do. I do. Not that we don't have issues with it, but you have the most. You'll come I have Josh the, most. You, I, we'll, we'll get you. I, I do. As Josh <laughs> most, I have the most issues with 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 the last jedi just from the point where it felt like it was uh you know i'm not going to get into it it's been it's been delved into over and over again it's been it's thrown up so on 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 all the social media sites so that being said you know i, I the some of the messages that are that are out there if you're following are it's hard for them to come back to the center which is which is like, look, we love Star Wars, and it's hard for them to kind of decipher what's what's out there and, and form their own opinions. But I, man, I don't even know where I was going with that at this point because well, you you've threw me off with the Josh most hates it most thing. <laughs> <laughs> that was your joke. Uh, yeah, that was, no, it was, it was built, Andy's it joke. Was he right hit in. me first. Um, I, where I think you're going with that is that the that us being trying to be positive about even you know differing opinions, there's people out there that aren't positive that are actually combative about their opinions well, they won't accept any good version of what's happened already that's I, I think that's what i was trying to say is like no matter what what is no matter what's already happened or they like, won't or we they, have another chance right we have yeah. this we have this last movie this ninth movie to give us some some closure right in whatever point and I, now i remember my point and so it's it's always kind of negative, and, and, and a lot of it's like, well, this didn't happen and that didn't happen. But if you recall, I, I, I need the direct quote, but if you recall, the end of New Hope was was a happy ending, right? Mm -hmm. Everyone's standing up. Right, the, the, big, Death Star blew the big up. bad guy had been destroyed. We get medals, and we all face the camera. <laughs> no, we all face the camera, literally, for the crowd. Like, you're on stage. Like, you're at a play, right? and they face the camera. And and without a bow, bowed. Right now, Josh. Now, Josh, hold on. All that right. could be because George Lucas wasn't sure he was going to get another movie. Of course, so he yeah, wanted. I get it. So exactly. ended up positive. But what That's was exactly. on what up note? Yeah. What also what was to to counter that point okay. is that at the end of Jedi, we're all around a bonfire consisting of Anakin smoke, and <laughs> and we all faced the camera and smile. I mean, another stage act finishing. So that's just me. That's the only reason I'm saying that is because if it would be a new precedent, yeah. I shouldn't say new because the end of, of, of revenge was was, was kind of was, dark. was very dark. But what I'm saying is that it wouldn't be out of character for Star Wars to finish a movie with a happy ending because we finished two, with the exception of of Empire in the mm -hmm. original you know uh, trilogy. But the, the end of Jedi was face the camera and smile. Episode I mean, one was like that. Yeah, no, that's uh, yeah, and so that's why I'm saying like I, I, maybe, who knows? So we have two paths, right? We have two paths, and we can take you the one, but if you're going to finish, you know, if it is the rise and end of Skywalker, I mean, we've, I mean, the rise of Skywalker is so contradictory to what we've heard all along is that yeah. the end of the saga. Yeah, but if we're going to go there. To, ha to not have that turn and face the camera moment, whatever it may be, or however it may be laid out, okay. would be would be a little out of character. Well, and and I guess I guess to piggyback on that, we all know how much JJ likes to call back, you know, almost to a fault, or maybe even to a fault, you know, call back or nod to previous movies. I guess I guess that makes a lot of sense for that to happen. Um, I still. Or at today, right now, I still think maybe that happens, but it's because Kyle's defeated. He is the bad guy, and he goes down. You know, he goes down sure. for it. So now that's very abrasive towards some other theories. Yes, right? yeah, it is. It <laughs> is. But it's it's also like what a not a lot of people are wanting and looking for at this point. Like nobody's really. There's not a lot of buzz on Kylo's the bad guy and ends the bad guy. There's a lot of buzz of Ben Demption, air quotes, mm. Ben Demption. Golly. Um, and anybody who's a, a 
a Raylo we have to combine <laughs> every. No, word I know. I know. Hey, word. hashtag Bendemption. <laughs> and ben then Demption. there's also you know there's a pretty vocal uh, Raylo, you know that in order for Raylo to happen, I guess it could happen with him dying still, but there would be redemption involved in that in order for it to happen. And so like, there's a lot of people that want Kylo not to end as the bad guy, whether he lives or dies could might be another question. I don't, I don't hate your, your take on that ending. I don't, I, I, I agree. And I think you and I already talked about it. It's like, it's okay for a bad guy to be a bad guy, right? Yes. Okay. It's okay for a, even if he comes from parents who we love, fine yeah and it, absolutely it's okay for a bad guy to actually have redeeming qualities that makes you want to kind of like them and or uh put them in a position or a, a perceived position position where they may redeem themselves but sometimes a bad guy is just a bad guy sometimes they are sometimes evil is evil yeah, yeah. and well, so i don't i don't i don't hate the theory of of kylo taking the fall for evil you know what i'm saying like mm-hmm. ultimately look are we going to end this with the <laughs> with, with the dark side being the leader well, no and they set it up for him to be the bad guy i mean from uh well who else is there well yeah he's, they killed him okay so guy. then so he's then terrible he is good segue to my second um pessimistic trailer thought uh palpatine is not back he yeah. is he is merely a trailer vehicle to Clickbait to hook, Palpatine clickbait to hook people and and just <laughs> he like came we out saw, on the stage he yes did. no that <laughs> was really to get by the way genius of move. course genius well, of course. move well it was validation yeah it was also uh, it, motivation well it was like everybody was WTFing all over themselves and then validation and then he comes out and it was like that's exactly what I heard that is that is what I heard. I saw a our Death boy, Star. Our boy Ian. Right. Yeah. Our DM. DM. Our DM Ian. Come on. <laughs> um, yeah. So I believe today, right now, without any other information than that trailer, that he's just a a trailer hook. Um, like to, I said. To, to get, to get old. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to coin the phrase. That, force that, bait. Force bait. <laughs> he's force bait. But that's going to piss people off. Don't well, you it. Although, who cares? It's the end. Wait for it. It it, right. it it might, but I mean, everyone right now is speculating what kind that. of capacity or what kind of a role he would have in this anyway. And I think people are already kind of c- coming to the con- a conclusion that he could just be like a, a flashback or a vision right. yes. or a dream yes. or something like that. And where his role would be minuscule. Yeah. And it might be just that you hear his laughter in connection to like a force vision. Like you heard Obi-Wan say, uh, the force is with you in Ray's force vision. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, what if he's like the force ghost for Kylo kind of thing, you know, and he's helping. He's Kylo. in a Sith holocron or something like that. I don't know. I mean, I mean that, that still answers that question it, he has it, a small part. It would be but. a, yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe it. I, right now, I don't believe he has a big role. I think he is mostly a trailer hook. So, your thoughts? Yeah, I. Do you I, like that better or worse than think? Kylo dies as the bad guy? I like that better. I think. I think that. I think there has to be a redemption at the end. I. I feel like because of the fact that it's get if this is number nine or number nine, it's the end, the last of the third trilogy. Okay. I feel like there has to be some kind of a wrap up. Um, well, because, no, there's definitely going to be a wrap up, but we. Do, <laughs> I guess we're trying to decipher like how it's going to wrap. For one thing, the one the what I was saying is that. Uh, uh, you know, like or hate the portrayal of Kylo, he is one of the most compelling characters in the story. This, in this, you know, the in last this. two movies, absolutely, yes. yeah. he is. Yeah. Okay, so like or hate the portrayal, him and Ray, or Kylo and Ray are 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 Han killer and Ray are the the most compelling characters. They just are. Right. They're yeah. better. They're better developed. Adam Driver's an excellent actor in my opinion i think he's wonderful if you ever watched uh what's that uh girls or girls. whatever yeah it's fantastic he's a great actor he's given the lines he was given and his portrayal is <clears throat> is what it is and we're gonna find out if it was accurate if it was true to form through the end of you know the series here and but I, I agree i just want to say one thing and i think i've said it before the only thing is that i feel like he didn't he doesn't make a bad guy 
feel like a bad guy. Yeah, like he's dark, a he's a method actor, man. No, he's so uh, you don't know what he's actor. you don't know what he's straddling right now as far as what he has to well what he has to what he has to f- fulfill as far as what his end game is as Kylo. So that's that's how I feel. We don't know, yeah. and that's what we were gonna find out. We don't know what Kylo is gonna become, and that's what you're getting at is he might become the ultimate evil and remain or he might become in some other theories the ultimate uh romance <laughs> yeah. he, he might become the ultimate brother or 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 the ultimate redemption i mean there's all these yeah, there's well, all these things he well, could become the, the, other, the anti-hero in a way you know well the other yeah. part too is that they kind of have to end it so they could end it kind of at a a stopping point for almost all of them Nah, I, I mean, right? of course. I mean, it comes to an end. It's kind of like uh, Rogue One. It's like, okay, everybody dies. Well, I don't know if we we'll see that because well, we're already going to see the Skywalker. We have the rise of Skywalker, so there's not going to be an end. It's going to be the. I think that the redemption will come down to the Skywalker line. They put it in the title. Yeah, the rede- I, I agree. If, if they redeem the Skywalkers, which doesn't have to be Ben Solo at slash all. Skywalker. No, because we already talked. Did we talk about it in the last pod? We talked about the Skywalker, the 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 rise of Skywalker, could just mean, you know, titling the people that follow that mentality as Skywalker. You know, it, yeah. they don't have to be a direct line. Replacing the name Jedi. So this is too deep. Yeah. Back it back up. All right. So let me let me uh, let me transition here just for a second. So if Palpatine isn't back. If Kylo doesn't get redeemed and dies as the bad guy, that's that is going to upset a group of the fandom because at this point, fandom is fractured in how everybody thinks they need this to end or want this to end, whether it's becomes a romance or whether it becomes redemption or whether it becomes just simply good versus evil. Um, it's not going to go to quote Luke the way you think it's not going to go the way everybody thinks it could go. And even amongst the different theories, um, you know, it's, there are things about episode nine that are going to ruin it for some people. Sure. And and when I I say ruin, make everybody happy when I no, nor should you try. But, um, and when I say ruined, I'm throwing air quotes around ruin because it's, it's, it's almost cliche now online to say, Oh, you know, if this doesn't happen, I, you know, people are saying boycott, this boycott that you know star wars is go, ruined go for, for me. go for it yeah that's another seat in the middle of the theater for me so <laughs> go for it yeah yeah i'm boycotting disney i'm boycotting star wars I, you know and disneyland's amazing so that'd be dumb yeah <laughs> so anyway <laughs> uh, i wanted to uh i wanted to go Galaxy's through edge. <laughs> i wanted to go dumb. through next because we're you know this segues into how Star Wars has been ruined over the years and by movie by oh, movie as they, as they came out. Oh, hold on. No, Are you air qu- quoting ruined? I am, I am it air quoting ruined because these were these were areas of contention within each movie sure. when they came out. I like that, it. Go ahead. The people I rolled over, it's like, oh, great. You know, that, that sucks. They've all been ruined. They jumped the shark or jumped the interceptor. Um, no? Yeah. Okay. Um, Bantha. So, <laughs> could have got something. So when the original Star Wars: A New Hope came out, it was so out of literally out of this world that people just loved it, and there wasn't a lot of negative you could say about it, unless you just simply didn't like the genre. Like if you weren't down sure. with sci-fi, or or if you thought it, you know, whatever you thought, um, it was pretty well received. With if you hate attractive farm boys, good-looking princesses with hair buns and and scoundrelly rogues, seven foot tall, hairy things, <laughs> but also, yeah, giant hairy things. And you suck. Yeah. So, <laughs> so push back because it was so new. There wasn't a whole lot. Now you get to Empire Strikes Back, which for much of the fandom is uh, maybe tops, like the favorite. It was movie. hated. It, it was disparaged comparatively. It, right? Well, there were two things that people didn't like about it, but not that it made it a bad movie the cliffhanger ending like ending unresolved like that just doesn't settle well with people anyway knowing that they would have to wait at that time lucas had an idea that there was going to be a third movie so he could end it with some had questions. an idea i think he knew no he knew by then. <laughs> um but the the one the one uh like the whole i am your father 
line was kind of a mind blower and that was something that people talked about a lot after the movie like sure like do you really think it is do you think he was telling the truth and it wasn't necessarily fact that we took vader at his word because remember vader's the bad guy oh he's like wearing black he's so a yeah and, and should we believe that or or is it devastating because it's the truth you know um but the the dagobah cave scene was a was a question mark like what was going on there if well, that there was that a, old eh. good old star wars precedent of throwing something in that's just like what it, it might no not sense. May, it confuses everyone. yeah it might not be necessary um and yeah it's a little discontinuous with the rest of what's going on and so there was like well what was that about you know and like is that baby face luke so his, his, his face, face in was in the could that so does that mean that could be him if he's not careful or what i mean is because we hadn't seen what Vader looked like unmasked. And so it's like, anyway, so if there was a contention point, it was with that scene and maybe with the uneasiness of ending a movie with a cliffhanger or unanswered questions like, well, what, what is going to happen with Han? What are they going to do next? You know, like where do they go from here? So there's that jumping off point, which ended up making, I think it propelled Jedi. Yes, into, it absolutely into did. Just, so I don't really think we can call that a negative. It was just like, oh, well, I saw, I sat through this movie and I'm still no closer to knowing. I don't yet. have a happy feeling. Yeah. So, so there was, Which, a, by I, the way, I don't last think Jedi was very similar, similar. So I don't think anything was air quotes ruined in Empire Strikes Back. There was just some maybe like, eh, well, that was weird. I would have loved to see what, what like, you know, uh, modern day Twitter, Twitter would have looked like back then. Um, which would have been postscript, I think. Uh, you know, something like mind blown. Right. Vader, dad. Faxes. Were faxes around? Maybe people no, just in a, in a fax group. Fax fax facsimiles. The facsimiles. I mean. Those, the, yeah. those yeah. like liquid paper pencil would squeak on it when you wrote on it. You yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, That's what I'm saying. Ugh, just blowing smelled up. like crap. Blowing up the liquid paper. <laughs> okay, then we get to the Return of the Jedi. Here's he where we. Jokes. Here's <laughs> when we get some first, like. Like, this ruined it for me. Really? Yes. In Jedi? Yes. Jedi was my fave as a oh, kid. Oh, ruined it? Yes. Okay, go ahead. I want to hear this. Yeah, yeah. go. I want to hit I want to hit these old ass trolls. Okay. <laughs> Ewoks are ridiculous. What? No. Yeah. They were pretty lame. But that ruined it for you? No, not for me. I'm just saying oh. this, these are moments. I'm joking. We're getting oh. to moments. As a kid, I, as a loved, kid, I Wicked. loved it. Oh, yeah. I thought they were great. Oh, yeah. Man. I mean, no. I was five, so six years cute. old, and I was like, oh, those are cool. And I really loved the Ewok movies, too, what? that came out later. Why do you think they made them all PG-13? or but, They're all PG-13, right? But but for people, well, you know, Ewoks, they, that, That's what I'm cannibals. saying. They made it because they're they cannibals. Were having, the parents were taking their kids, and that's... Our right, that was the hook we it all. for the young kids. Yes. And, and so who believes so, it? For, so for some of the older Star Wars fans at Return of the Jedi in 1983, you know, whether they're in their teens or 20s or maybe 30s, at this point they see Ewoks and they're like, nah, okay, those are for the kids. Those are lame. Um, I still love them. So I know, yeah, I, okay. I'm a fan. People I had like strong it. feelings about Ewoks in the early 80s. Can you imagine yeah. Wicket with, a, an, uh, with as much Jar Jar hate? <laughs> No, oh, jeez, it's not even close. <laughs> Wicked hate. You know what? <laughs> Wicked hate. It, that no. that's Wicked hard. was adorable though. That's actually hard to measure though, because there were people that did not like the Ewoks. Like that whole thing was just nub, too nub. No, exactly too cornball, too cheesy. Now, of course, There's we know that that Lucas originally. Jar-Jar. Here's a fun. I don't know if this is fact or fiction, but Lucas originally wanted to be a Wookiee world, but his fur cost too much, so he. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Is that real? That's real. Like, I mean, it's real that I heard this. It's not real that it's real. I don't know. We got to look it up. It probably is real. <laughs> it but like, real. he wanted it to be a Wookiee world, but because it was so much to make the costumes for a normal sized person or a seven foot sized person, he's like, <laughs> Hello, let's, Chronicles let, facts. Let's go for three and a half foot persons. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway, you've never heard that? Um, I haven't. I actually no. have never heard that. No, that's legit. Fur okay. was too expensive. So, so here that's was. That's true. Fur's expensive. It's true. Here's the here's the other one that really got people kind of <laughs> that just happened. Kind of icky feeling inside. It's Jar Jar. When they found out that Luke and Leia were brother and sister. Oh yeah, that was kind of sister. You have a twin sister. Well, you want to know why? Well, what's his that first was called thought when he was told that? Uh, oh. oh crap! Oh, 
Is that called? I think they did. Hold, a robot on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Quick, have we already done this? What's the mashup of Luke and Leia? Is this like, or is it Luca? Oh, oh come on! Like Kylo, like Leic? like R- Leic? R- Raylos, like Raylos. So oh. it's like, uh, I bet there were tons of uh, LL. Like, there were tons of likes out Hashtag there. Be like LL, like Luke and Leia forever. You know, Lugana. Yeah, I don't know. LL Cool, yay. <laughs> oh good god what's your next one <laughs> okay okay so then we have the same we go we go um a bunch of years until uh the phantom menace and the phantom menace comes out there was a lot of jar jar pushback yep like he was too corny cheesy unnecessary to the plot um there for the kids he was he was there I to believe sell he toys was. to kids I believe he was, and, 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 and I mean, you could almost put three PO in that in that three PO and R two even in that realm. If you go back to the to New Hope, they were there. Three PO was definitely comic relief. All right, he was he he got slapped on the head by you know. I mean, uh, Han Solo was ignoring him. I mean, he was comic relief. Yeah, he only added even, value. Even R 2s chirps. Were... And what was so magical about it is he added value at like the most opportune moments where he saved him in the. In the trash compactor, you know, like oh, R2, R2, and R2's chirps and burps, and he doesn't matter. Yeah. But they were definitely comic relief. So Lucas was trying to follow a formula. He just messed up with Jar Jar because yeah. Misa had too many lines. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I feel. If, well, he didn't, if, if Jar Jar had been pulled back maybe 50% to where. The, and even the Gungans in general. Yeah, making him a general. And, oh. And he was just... Well, he, and he saves he was, the day by clumsily falling on stuff. I mean, I get it. Because, you know, remember, R2 and 3PO saved the day by clumsily bumbling into uh, things. I think you would get some hard pushback that R2 did anything clumsily. Oh, for God's sake. Well, no, I, I'm saying in conjunction <laughs> with 3PO. 3PO clumsily gave orders and R2 already knew what the hell to do. That's That's what I'm saying. That was the comic relief. Yeah. Well, oh, no, I just say that I did a funny bone with Andy here. Go on. <laughs> I think See you would Maddie get some, some major pushback for me in particular. <laughs> um, so then the the you can't even think. He's I so didn't mad. understand. I didn't understand. There was some Jake Lloyd pushback too. Like he was way too bubbly for what ended up being the Dark Lord of the Sith. Now that I don't. Th- that's pretty defensible. Most kids. Even kids growing up in uh, harsher circumstances, like young Anakin would have been, um, they're a lot more optimistic. And and if you know if they've got friends to play with, you know, like a lot of kids. Uh, I thought that Annie was was annoying. I mean, all here's the problem is because we have this view of Vader, and so to go backwards and see Vader as a goofy kid, yeah, really like with annoying. It, it, Woohoo! Yeah, I I didn't I didn't buy it. Probably one because he wanted to like him because he's a cute kid and and he's winning pod races and fixing stuff. But no, I I remember leaving. You know, but I was jacked for that movie. I mean, I stood yeah. in line. I mean, those were the days of real lines. There was no Fandango. There was no nothing. If you wanted to get a ticket, you get there early. Yeah, maybe and, maybe a day early. Yeah, man. No, yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just pointing out where. Parts of the fandom thought that Star Wars was ruined because of the inclusion of some things. And Jar Jar was definitely one um, at the time. Uh, but Darth uh, Maul, I think, counteracted. Yeah, Darth, Darth Maul was the loss super of Darth awesome. Maul was obviously. That was a little bit of a bummer, too. He was yeah. there and gone too quickly. just like. But the players were already in place. You had to form an emperor. You couldn't have somebody too dominant in Darth yeah. Maul to can continue. Could have had him one more movie, though. Yeah. Uh, and then... And then uh, this was not me because I was totally down with it, but some people thought that the pod race and the whole th- thing on it just took too long to get off the planet. Like, did did we really have to do that for that long? But I, I personally, I liked the pod race part of it. I thought the sound and just the visualness of it was pretty awesome. THX, baby. Yeah. And so, but there were people that thought, yeah, that's just, it, again, it's. I guess an overarching complaint of the Phantom Menace that it was too commercialized it to was. sell toys to it little was. kids, and but they and were taking a machine that had been put in place accidentally and capitalized on 
and you hear all the stories about how the toys were created. I mean, shoot, with, with Star Wars, we had mail-ins because they couldn't even produce the toys fast enough. No. And so when they went into Phantom Menace, they went in with a plan. So yeah. keep going. Keep going. And, okay. We're, we're, we, we Attack of the Clones. Digress. Attack of the Clones. Uh, Star Wars is ruined because Hayden Christensen was too stiff. Anakin and Padme's relationship was rushed and not believable. Sure. Um, A.K.A. You know, Lucas Dialogue. Uh, yeah and yeah it takes a very charismatic actor to be able to pull that stuff off because if you go back and look at harrison ford's lines they're not fantastic but when you watch him deliver them it's his face it's his demeanor attitude attitude eye rolls whatever he's doing he's taking mediocre dialogue and turning it into fantastic acting right memorable lines memorable lines and yeah. hayden christensen bless his heart is not harrison ford so, but deal with who it. Who is? I love all to these be defenses fair, I'm giving, and then yeah. when you get into the Last Jedi, I'll be like, "Ah, oh, sucked." <laughs> well, well, I'm just, I, and these critiques may or may not have been some of our own because we were sure. old enough to have those critiques. Sure. We were not kids at the time of the prequels. Um, but I think I'm I'm holding you back from the meat of the of the of the topic here. So get well, to it. Well, I I'm not. The, uh, Attack of the Clones. Okay, said it. Revenge of the Sith, it's more Hayden, kind of stiff. Like, not maybe as believable as maybe we would have hoped. Um, not the guy and, in a Darth Vader, Vader helmet. That's he, that's how I feel. He's like, not. He's like, not. That's it, how I feel. But then once we get him in the Darth Vader helmet, what's his first thing he says? No! <laughs> and a lot of people were like, come on. <laughs> and, and the fact that Padme died of a broken heart. Really good female character. So broken but, heart. But like, guess that's what? That's how she goes. Like that's how she goes. So let's hit your point though. Guess what? The prequels now have more love than they've ever had before. Yes, but I'm talking about at the time. I know. And so I get okay. You want to get to my overarching point with all of these places where Star Wars has been ruined? Do you, I mean, do you even want to go in the the last two that we've done? I think those have been hit. Force Awakens, another Death Star. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That was my thing. Was okay. Like, what? Too much call back to A New Hope. Uh, Star Killer didn't kill a star. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, that's a good one. I never knew. Uh, never realized that. Kylo is just a hormonal rage monster. <laughs> Han yes. dies. Han uh, dies in a lame way. Uh, I don't think the, Han died in a lame way. Not in a lame way, but the fact that Han died, like ha Han died. It lame. wasn't. It wasn't epic. <laughs> Han died. Period. That's lame. Yeah, that yeah. wasn't epic. And so, um, Ray is too powerful, too quick. How does she do this um, with no training or anything like that? Where it, the whole thing was like, it takes years to be, you know, attuned to BS. the force. Uh, so Lou was a Luke could 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 channel the force after he he blocked a couple zaps from a a little ball, a little training. Yeah, yeah. And then all of a sudden, ooh. and then the last, Come on. And the last Jedi it's movies, the last Jedi, Poe and Hux get neutered. Call them Lou. Um, <laughs> Canto <laughs> bites unnecessary. Rose crashes into Finn to save him, which seems that was lame, weird. <laughs> uh, Luke is just afraid the whole time. That was stupid. Poe gets uh, people killed and no s real slaps on the wrist. He gets slapped in the cheek, but he gets people killed in two different times. That's my thing with him. Uh, the resistance is small enough to fit on the Falcon. Luke's dead. Snoke's dead. And we hardly knew who Snoke was. And then the whole. Lame. Yeah. So yeah, I know I get it. So the overarching thing here that I guess I'm trying to say is that the things that ruined it for some people. Ten years later, 15 years later, like you just said, the prequel trilogy trilogy has more love for it now than it did back then. And it was huge back then. And you're going to see, I feel like, you're going to see, regardless of what online will tell you, what Twitter will tell you, you're going to see Episode Nine break box office records, at, you know, even comparatively to the prequel trilogy ones, even comparatively to Star Wars A New Hope, that it's just going to, it's going to be the biggest thing this year. Bigger than Endgame this next weekend, Ooh, which I'm take, real excited hot take, about. Hot take. I think it's going to be bigger than Endgame. I think it's going to be the biggest thing this year. And the so-called people that are ru are ruined by Episode Seven or Episode Eight, the things that have happened, they're not. It, they're they going to keep talking. They're going to come back to it. 
They wouldn't keep talking. They're going to like it. And 10 years from now, it's going to be the best thing that ever happened. I mean, well, I remember I said that it was fantastic once. <laughs> yeah. The, so it's yeah. not that I no. hated all of it. I just didn't like there it. There were certain parts. So I, I just want to throw a, a little bit of an asterisk or a caution uh, to Twitter that people that are so-called saying things are ruined for, I don't think they are. And I think that they will come back to it eventually, if not as soon as the movie comes out. Because what this trailer has shown me is that for even the people that I saw that were disgruntled about episode eight or about episode seven, even that that trailer just reeled them back in a little bit, if not all the way. There's some people out there. It's okay. I mean, the the, the deal, you know, I don't want to get too philosophical here, but the deal with social media is you get to see all spectrum of people's uh, perception on on life and some people deal with things like look the first thing thing that i want to do is come at it from a negative point of view so that i won't be wrong if it's good right yeah and then i can always come back you know if, i was if happily surprised i was happily su- exactly yeah. and there is a lot of people out there that like to to come at it like well i don't know and they come out, and that's fine and we get to see it in in instantaneous response yeah. all 140 the time. 140 characters all the time yeah and so i get it it's cool chill you love Star Wars or else you wouldn't be talking about it. Guess what? There's a lot of people on the platforms, Twitter or wherever, that aren't talking about Star Wars. But you, Mr. or Mrs. Hater, are still talking about Star Wars. You love it. Yeah. It's fine. Cool. It's cool. And me, I'll come right in the middle because I'm a passive, you know, passive kind of guy. I'm just going to come in the middle and, and I'm going to take things as they, as they are delivered to me. And, and I'll form them out. I, I was definitely negative on a certain on certain things and i'll try my best but listen if you're still gonna support it if you're a fan of star wars and just be a fan yeah and a fan with a comment is okay a fan with an opinion is fine but as soon as you get on a platform where you're promoting boycotting or something (laughs) ridiculous like that go away go watch endgame or go watch you know it's cool yeah we're fine we'll be okay without you and And we'll be okay when you come back we'll hug you and we'll be like yeah we knew it was great yeah we're, All along. We knew here. it was great enough to surpass some of the visions and, and things that came out beyond that. And that was too philosophical. Sorry. That's okay. I think some of the uh what I think some of the uh theories that are out there get people so riled up because they don't want that to happen. Well, you have a platform to talk. I mean, that's the thing. It's like if we were face to face, we've got this four hundred followers. Actually, we, Josh, we got over four hundred and forty followers now. Thanks oh for my hey, gosh. thanks for following us on Twitter. Oh my god! We, you know what? We were up to four forty three, but now we're at four forty two. Hey, somebody hey. jumped off the bandwagon. I want to. I want to. I want to grab five, lose one. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> And for the one that got away, I'm sorry. You know, whatever we did. Hey, wrong. you know what? Good for them. They're not bitching about Star Wars. They're off on their own trek. <laughs> I'm good with that. Star Trek. Um, oh. oh. We have to have like, bang, bang, like a l- alert sound whenever you when, when you say the, <laughs> Reference. the Star Trek words. Okay. I've got something moving on. Uh, I've got something for our Easter egg discussion. Here. Oh, Easter egg discussion. So, Ooh. Uh, uh, by the way. I think we have a drop for that. Do we have a drop? Sorry. Oh, drop for Happy Easter, Easter egg. egg. Easter eggs. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Twitter for all of the uh, Easter references referring to the rise of Skywalker slash Jesus. Um, <laughs> that was uh, that was bold. that Little was bold. that was low hanging fruit, but um, <laughs> but I'll pre- take it. Appreciated nonetheless. Uh, so Easter eggs, we like to connect other pop culture things to Star Wars or Star Wars to other pop culture things in the movies, within the movies, um, and within other movies. But I I wanted to do a little different on this one uh, because. We are we are faced with the question of a possible romantic relationship between Ray and Kylo, which I, I like your face right now. Look at yeah, look at, look at the like, camera. Hey, wait, wait, hold wait. on, let me get <laughs> fossil <laughs> oral <laughs> uh, Okay, do it again. Yeah. Redo so, it right there. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking away now. He He's looking away. Oh, and, uh, He's Shiloh. Uh, and, oh, wow. oh, very oh my god. Well played, <laughs> sir. Wow. Um. Uh, yes, so I'm weird. I'm on record for saying that I'm not I'm not necessarily a fan of the idea of uh, Ben and Ray getting together, but uh, I am well Luke aware of the, of the possibility. And so um, 
where where my theory lies is that and this is we did a very long podcast on that because that Ray <laughs> we did is um, a solo. OK, she's a solo. And and I go ahead and explain why. And I think it was number 11. I think that's. Yeah. That way we did yeah, it. And go time. listen to that if you're even go listen to that if you just want to hate on Andy right yeah. now. <laughs> go go ahead. I, I am willing Skip to skip to the 40 minute mark and then some, <laughs> listen for 40 more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the last day of that podcast was great. <laughs> yeah. In, anyway, um, so we're faced with a possible like for the um, for episode nine that that Ray could be not related to Ben sure or maybe could be related to Ben and and while why not low and and <laughs> where I'll keep it going Star Wars <laughs> and Empire Strikes Back eventually came together in Return of the Jedi as that Luke and Leia are brother and sister that didn't stop them from having a couple of intimate moments that later <laughs> became a little awkward. awkward. So um, in the Easter egg discussion, this it's not really Easter eggs, but I wanted because it has to do with the S- Star Wars movies in relationship to Star Wars. It's not any other pop culture thing other than Star Wars. Uh, I wanted to ask both of you. Sure. How many times do you think Luke and Leia kissed in the movies? Three. I was going to say two or three. Do you want any more time to think about that? Uh, no. 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 I'm going I three. Good. Solid three. I'll go with two since he went with three, but um, it's only a few times. That okay. Do you think it's more or less than Leia kissing Han? More. So, Josh, you're uh, saying... I think Han was two and Luke was three. Okay. Trev? No, I feel... Uh, I'm trying to think. I think it'd be more like the yeah. Oh, e- Luke the might same. have been four. Now that I think about it, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, how. she gives him a cheek. A it good it old sounds cheek like kiss it right sounds like it's going to be more kissing of the Luke. Yeah, than I think Han, it's uh, based I think on it's the four. way that you're looking at me right now. I think I'm going to go. With, I'll go three and two, <laughs> but I guessing. think it's four and two. Four Luke, two, two, two Han. Okay. Well, yeah. the actual number for Leia and Luke kisses whether. There is the kiss on the cheek before they swing across the chasm in the desert. Are you yeah. counting yeah. that? I'm counting that. Of course. Because uh, it's, mm-hmm. she says it's for luck. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe he's just cute. Luck rhymes with swing. <laughs> this is a kids <laughs> friendly podcast. I know. Yashua. Um, <laughs> I know. That was totally, totally. What are you amazing. thinking? Jesus. Yeah. Jeez, Andy. <laughs> anyway. Um, they kiss. Luke and Leia have exchanged kisses four times. Ah, nailed it. Four I knew times. It. I knew so it. counting the cheek kiss. Counting the cheek kiss. Of course. Meh. There's the cheek kiss. Meh. There's the one where uh, he gets rescued from Han and yeah. he's in the sick bay and Empire Strikes Meh. Back and Meh. she plants big a big one. Big, big one. That was a, right that was a doozy. Han. That was a doozy. Yeah. Uh, oh, she kisses him at the end of A New Hope when he gets out of the X wing. She yep. runs up, hugs, and kisses him. Uh, I believe that one's on the cheek too. Uh, but yeah, it's close. But it. it's it's uh, it's a very but see that excited that to, see to me isn't like a I, well, creepy kind of kiss. No, it's like not the, like, like the, the Empire Strikes Back one yeah. where like I'm gonna try and make you jealous, Han. Yeah, that so one watch was a me much. mouth kiss. The other ones like you would. That's normal. Okay, like so so how many times do you think she kissed Han? Two, two. I, I think less. That's, I'm I'm about with that. Yeah, less it's less. Yes. You think it's less? I Both think you guys think it's less. No, I think it's two. Okay. He's angry. No, I'm not angry. I'm just saying this too. All right. The actual number is eight. What? She kisses Han eight times. Now, a couple of them are kiss and then kiss again. Ah, yeah, yeah. So oh, nah. e- um, yeah. See, if you mean. only if, same if, scene, if you consider same that scene, same if you consider scene. that once, then it's six. What they do like mm, 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 like kissing a dog or something? What's going on here? No, but like at the like end a, of Return like of the Jedi when she says he's my brother. They kiss. He comes off. Oh, yeah, and then yeah, they yeah. kiss nah, again. Same scene. Okay. That's so it, even if you count that as one, she still kisses Han more, but it's closer. Yeah, whatever. Okay. It's two. <laughs> 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 she only kissed her brother on the mouth, like, affectionately <laughs> twice. <laughs> anyway, I, I thought that was... No, an was Easter funny. egg, yeah, I thought that was <laughs> funny. <laughs> an uncomfortable so, egg, is yeah. what that was. Next time it's you're watching, it, egg. Next or... time you're watching it, look for him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I sure will. Yeah, yeah. Or We're just go, go to YouTube. A... 
okay. uh, because there's a there's oh I a bet fit. there's a what's that called and Star Wars by the numbers yeah by the numbers no, they nah. don't do that a by short the video very very short <laughs> <laughs> um, okay well, because we are collectors we like to give a collector tip hello what have we here collector tip oh, so um, before we get to the collector tip Josh Trev have you guys gotten anything lately oh man I know uh, you have Josh, Josh. Josh has. I don't even know if I can remember all the crap I've gotten lately. <laughs> yeah, this been, is a good problem to have. This is a good on. problem to have. Yeah, I went on a spree because, I, as always, we're always. I'm always. You know, I said it last pod too. I think or the pod before. I'm always changing my display, but I have some cool displays up here. Yeah, okay. The new. I wish I could. Do yeah, that. it's. Uh, you know what? Yeah. Actually, actually, do that. This is our tip. This is our. Guy, we want to shout out yeah. on. Is it on eBay? It's on. It's on Facebook and eBay. Okay, yeah. so you can find Ian's display accessories, and so uh, it, I don't have can it. I up. Find your nah, computer? you can't. But yeah. um, uh, Ian's display accessories. He's got some cool, some Here really cool gear. He Andy's was at Star Wars right Celebration. As a matter of fact, our boots on the ground at the celebration found this guy's booth and brought me a card back, and I, I found him on eBay. Ian's display accessories. Can you show the? Where's the other ones that? Yeah. Well, they're up there. You you have to, you know, pan out. But they're just cool. They're. I mean, they're just. They're pretty cool. They're um, cool. but uh, uh, he's he's a cool dude. He's got some good stuff. Um, uh, and obviously a great uh, group of. Did George meet him? I don't know. Or, so, um, just some good go. stuff up there for you guys. Yeah, if you can see, uh, if you're if you're watching the podcast, then. You can see that uh, there's little discs that they plant into that you can put the foot. Here's the main thing. I'll describe it. The cool thing is, is like they have a first 12 uh, display uh, piece of acrylic. It's got all the names of all the first 12 characters. Laser cut. Laser cut. And you plug in your guys on, on some cool little stands. They've got the cantina. They've got Ewoks. They've got bounty hunters. Different versions of Luke different versions, yeah. Han. All the all the versions of Han, all the versions of Luke, all the versions of Leia, and then they have um, really cool. Uh, Andy threw them up, but like display stands, uh, tiered stands, so you can put your guys together. So I I went after them because I am I I'm modifying my uh, a cl- a display collection from kind of a scene based collection to a to a to a, maybe a more of a roll call we call it i don't know yeah. you can kind of see some of yeah. it if you if you follow us on youtube you'll be able to see a little yeah bit. so you'll see that but um hey anyway subscribe to us on youtube and uh, give us a comment we'd love sure. to YouTube engage with you and then of course uh the reason we we talk about these people is because we support people that put out awesome stuff and i he you know he he's just a cool he's a cool guy with cool stuff i loved i actually went and reviewed and read the comments and, you know, most of the comments were like my favorite booth at the celebration, you know, which I love because that's that means that somebody's putting out a good product that is is meant for us. And yeah, well, and everybody's talking up his product. I mean, the yeah. stuff he's putting out is just I mean, it's protective cases. I mean, you got these kind of everything yep. that he's putting out yeah, is just stuff that cases. makes stuff look better and display better. I mean, and yeah, it's a ton of pretty. fun. And it made, awesome. it made it uh, made Andy and Trevor jealous when I showed. No, up. yeah, a little, a bit. little bit. Yeah, so a little that's bit. Right. So I didn't. Ian's I didn't know he had the etched ones that have the specific, like the yeah. original twelve. I mean, they're cool. The bounty hunters. They're, Ian's they're display cool. accessories. You'll find them on Facebook, and then that, that'll direct you to eBay, where I think they do the majority of their sales. I didn't go to a website or anything. I just did eBay because you know whatever. Yeah, he sells a ton on eBay. Trevor, have you gotten anything uh, recently? Uh, I don't think I was uh, since I've been back. But the the last thing I did get was the. Uh, um, a wing pilot mm, for the last 17. Yeah. I don't think I talked about that one. It's I've had a, a few, a couple weeks that have been kind of chaos, but um, yeah, that's the last thing I got. Which I'm working on the last 17, so I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I got hey, check him uh, off the list. What was it? It's a good uh, find. Yeah, There's like five or six left. Ah, uh, no, I think I got seven, but I have the uh, indoor Luke, but I don't have his accessories. I don't have his accessories. Yeah. Yeah. So gotcha. basically, gotcha. I have seven, counting him and a half. Seven, six and a half. So he's he of the last half. 17. Okay. Yep. That's I'm cool. getting there. So you're trying to uh, check off your boxes because your goal is to get all the figures. Every one of them. Yeah. And, and that's Josh, you have a goal I'm in mind. Or are you I just kind of, I'm, I'm a non, non objectively buying shotgun Star Wars effect stuff. on this stuff. It's like, whatever comes my <laughs> way, just 
shoot it and, yeah. and bag it. So if you're trying to it, sell something, send an ad yeah. to Josh. There's a good chance I got a hole you in got, my collection because <laughs> 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 I shot right through it. So yeah, um, I want to mention a couple of things that I've got. What'd you get? Um, neither one have arrived yet. Oh wait, wait, wait! Oh, wait, these wait, are new wait, things. Wait. It seems like you can't talk about those that they haven't shown. Yeah, no, those I aren't. No, I'm just kidding. No, I'm for next week. No, no, you can't. I whatever. feel like that's garbage. Like, you did get a couple things. Okay, let me, talk you about, sent... let me talk about. Yeah. Let me talk about. Let me talk about what I did get. Let me. Um, I finally finished, and I'd been for about six months, kind of been waiting to or slowly finishing this off. But I finished off my first twenty-one plus boba or first twenty-one uh, card backs. Mm. I got yeah, yeah, for yeah. the original which 21, are awesome that's which cool. are really cool that's I, cool they're uh, you know they're cool uh, that's cool for a long time they were like a long time ago like the card backs weren't were worth anything right they're just sure. they're just like some you people start had a campfire with them yeah you you can you it's kind of like the, the lighter it's kind of like the gi though. joe file cards that sure. came on the backs of the sure. figures you know they, they were just kind of you read them and they got bent and worn and you know, chewed up and stuff and nerds like me kept them just to have them to read every now and then. Every day. Um, <laughs> every day. Every day. <laughs> um, yeah. So what if I could tell you the classification uh, for yeah, Bazooka you got Soldier some, Zap, you, you know, got whatever GI Joe nerd problems too. Um, but uh, yeah, I finished off those. And then right after that, shortly after that, I finished off my bounty hunter card backs too. Nice. Yeah. So Dude, that's cool. I've got that's I've good. got those card backs only. Actually, I take that back. I have a yak face card back. Did you you got you got rid of a lot then? I did. Okay. I did. Okay. I I sold a bunch of card backs so that I could finish off my twenty one and my and my bounty hunters. So nice. Congrats. Yeah, that was just yeah. something I wanted to do, and so I did. And I will save the uh, other two for you should. next week. I want them in your hand. Yes, those have got a. You, okay. don't have you know yet. what? One of them, Josh, you know about one of them. Trevor, I don't think yeah, you I haven't do. talked to you. And then the second one, neither of you know about. Oh, well. Ooh, but teaser. You'll, you'll be excited for me. Teaser. Oh, man. Man. Teaser. Hold on. There's your hook for next week. Yeah. Yeah. We'll reaction vid next week. Yeah, reaction vid. No, it's going to be great. Yeah. A bat cave. <laughs> Minot cave. <laughs> um, and lastly, for the collector tip, I don't know. Do you guys remember the first Star Wars thing that you got? Yes. Like as a child? Yes. Like the first, the first one on Star Wars thing you got. Like when that happened. The one that impressed because me. I had forgotten mine. I remember mine. What was it? It was an ad at. That was the first thing really? you got was That's an ad at. It wasn't the got? first thing I got. It's the first guaranteed. Thing you it's the first thing that just hit home so hard because it was a Christmas morning. It was it was an ad at. Yeah, it's like, I love ad ats. Yep. That's the one that just solidified. I think I had plenty of characters mom and dad bought me. Bib Fortuna. Yeah. But you remember I'm a seventy seven, so I was born, you know, while these were coming out. And yeah, but when the ad act came out, which was after Empire, I was of five and six age. Yeah. Four, five and six, whatever that was. And the ad at when that thing was under the Christmas tree, I lost my mind. Okay. Trevor, did you yeah. know that Josh and I were born like a week apart? Yeah, yeah, I know. You guys I actually old. didn't. Yeah. You didn't know. He wished me a happy birthday and I said thanks. <laughs> <laughs> on his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah, that was uh, that was something that we we're good friends. We realized that's right. So just you're recently, a little <laughs> older. I'm about a, a little week older. older. He's that's a week right. older. I yeah. finally, I knew, I knew, I knew that. I knew he was dying his beard. Yeah. <laughs> I knew. That. Uh, no, he's a liar. <laughs> um, Mine's Bib. The Bib uh, Fortuna. For whatever reason, I remember that's the. Th it's not the first thing. Nah, I he's got, a creepy mother. But it's that and some of the Java stuff. Whatever reason, that's what I remember. So, okay, but so, I was younger because you guys are old. <laughs> so the the first things that I got, this is hilarious because remember we like maybe you don't remember, but we grew up pretty poor, and you know living on dad's teacher salary, which he was making about nine grand a year. Yeah, yeah we were you know when we I didn't know this till later, but we were like uh, we qualified for special lunch, you know, mm. paid for lunch like we didn't have to buy wow. lunch. We Mom never did it. She always made our lunches, but like that's I didn't know that. I mean, sometimes is that kids, why you always dressed so funny growing up? Yeah, with patches. That's, we had yeah. patches on everything because it had to last. No, I mean like when yeah. you were twenty. Oh. Oh. No, no, <laughs> no. 
No, maybe. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did I just funny when I was 20? We need a violin There's, drop here. Yeah, um, what's going on? <laughs> right. So my, no, this oh, is just, one. it's funny because these were my first Star Wars uh, toys. So my first Star Wars toys were actually three figures. Um, it was uh, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and Boba Fett. Oh, what a combo. Cool. I got him. Cool. I got him all at the same time because... Dad Did was, Chewbacca and Boba Fett just beat the crap out of three people? Oh, all the no, time? Man. <laughs> oh man! So I, kind of I, 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 I'm a wimp. I, do I got I got the figures before I had even seen a movie, and I didn't really know what they were from. They were just figures that I got to play with. True. Yeah, okay. Right. Right. My dad took a class down in California, Avila Beach, and he took the. Fa- it was a week long class, and so we went down and stayed there too while dad took this class we'd go to the beach and hang out and do whatever it was like the first family trip i ever remember going on and playing out on the beach i found these figures in the sand what yeah i found these three figures when i, when I was playing on the beach Tatooine. In Tatooine. Ta- <laughs> exactly how many sons? i found them how in the sons? sand you know they didn't have guns with them or anything uh i found them in the sand told and i didn't i had completely forgotten <laughs> You okay? No, I'm good. I, I completely it. forgot about this until uh, my dad actually just went back to Avila Beach like a couple weeks ago. And he's like, hey, remember when we went down there when I was a kid? Uh, and he told you? No, no, he just told me that he went back down there. He drove through it. And then I was like, was he looking for vintage Star Wars figures oh in the gosh, sand? That would have been that great. Been fantastic. But no, but then it was like, I remember like, oh, yeah, that's where I found Boba. That's where I found Chewie. Oh yeah, and C three PO was there. T- I found three of them in the sand, and I I must have been maybe three years old. Hmm. Like I, it was before I'd even seen a Star Wars movie. Do those happen to be the ones that were saved? No, uh, that's because I forgot kinda... that how I got them and I sold them. Oh, you stink. To get new stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's cool though. That's a cool story. That's kind of a depressing ending. Yeah, I know. I, I kind of wish I, I still had him. That's sort of the I ending totally, that he think is going to happen. With it would be uh, like, and I go to sleep every night, night and kiss my fingers and touch their heads. When I was a man. little boy. No, I'm just kidding. No, no I meant now. No, now. I like, sold them. Yeah, last night. Okay. Um, where are we at time wise? What are we going? We're at a long time. Are you, we at an hour yet? Because yeah, we're, we're at an hour. Absolutely. We're at an hour. We're, an hour. we're, we're over an hour. <sighs> so where do we go from here? You know what? If I if you give me another topic, it's going to be another twenty minutes. So, sure, we know that. So, <laughs> so I'll tell you what. Let's let's pocket it. What do you think? Yeah, let's pocket it. I think we'll bag this up and 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 dish it. It's a good pot. Here's I'll tease it though. I'll tease it for our yeah, next so podcast. Yeah, so let's throw it out. The the uh, tease favorite is, pot of mine seven by seven. Let's throw it out seven by seven style. Let's <laughs> give us something to think about while we. Here's something to think about. Um, and this may not interest you at all because. Of its of the potential that it could be true, but there was a leak that was found out last weekend do or, we or this wanna, weekend. Do we want to drop that? Well, spoiler it's, alert! It's spoiler out there. Alert. It's out there, and I won't I won't say anything about. Stop it listening if today. you don't want to hear no, about. I'm not going to say it. Happen. I'm not going to say it uh, because that will give us another 20 minutes of talk uh, time. So, okay. um, but I wanted to talk about the leak and its potential for accuracy. Because most leaks, I think, are BS. Sure. They're just... Well, by leaks, I mean... Maybe, the, the, yeah. The conjecture, so, yeah. Conjectures some, with, yeah, with yeah. backing. Unknown, yeah. unnamed source sure. said that... Yeah. You Fake know, news. The reason this happened... Fake news. Exactly. So I think most of that is. However, on the chance that it could be true, I did want to discuss it. Now, if it could be just a podcast of me talking, if you guys don't want to hear about it. No, I absolutely want to hear about it. Okay. I'm, well, so then, then I'm that's that's one thing we'll talk about next week. And then um, I had a really, really good conversation with uh, the AT-AT chat um, podcast guy. And crap, if his name is slipping my mind. But AT-AT chat. It's AT-AT chat. Or Nick. Nick. Brex. Nick. I think his name's Nick. Sure. Okay. Yeah, I um, apparently. I had a great, I had a great conversation <laughs> with him. Um about um redemption and how it works and how it how it would have to happen if that's the route episode nine takes with kylo okay so that's next week that's what you're talking that's so what i would say is if you're listening out there put your questions up so we got a couple topics that we're going to talk about next week redemption redemption uh for ben 
Okay. Hashtag, yes or no. Hashtag Ben Demption. Now, you've already heard my opinion. Which sure. is wrong. As of today, I don't, I don't think it happens. I don't think the redemption happens. Okay. Okay. And Ooh, Andy taking a hot take. Well, no Ben Demption. Okay, okay, good. So good topic. Uh, but, discuss. But we'll talk about if it's going to happen, this is how it would need to do. This is how it would need to lay out. Okay. Okay. Because I, it's not that I don't want it to happen. I just don't think it's going to happen. Sure. If it happens, cool. It's probably going to happen like this, this, and this. If it does, and so that's what that's what we'll discuss. And then the other, the second thing is the the leak, the so called leak of Star and Wars. And I don't plot. mind putting a little time under that leak right now before we talk about it because I want to see if it if anybody gives it legs in any way. But I like uh, what we do. I don't like, but I I, I like. I want to talk about it. that. That seems like a whole pod to me. So mm-hmm. we're gonna hold that leak. You might see us on Sunday. That's my deal. Okay. So if so for next week. We'll talk redemption first and how it works and how it, it could happen. And if you're not down to listening to a leak on the chance that it could be true, then we'll make a disclaimer, you know, stop sure. listening from this point on and, and we'll do it at towards the end or the second half of the podcast. So we can do all our other normal. But if stuff. you want to, you know, if you're probably listening to us, you probably found us on Twitter already, but uh, tell your friends, follow, follow us at, at hollow Chronicles, find us on YouTube, hollow Chronicles. Thank you, uh, thank you for following. Thank yeah. you for listening, and thank you for telling. We, I must telling say a friend. this: we have some of the coolest uh, followers out there. Some of the best conversations. Yeah, absolutely. And it's amongst a few people, but it, it just it just kind of spills over, and we get some interactions that are just fantastic. So you guys are great. You know who you are, and we appreciate you. Well, and and last plug too: if you have any sort of collection, Star yeah, we Wars need collection. Some, we didn't get to show yeah. off a collection this week. Well, yeah, and that's. Partially my fault. I have somebody that I could have, and I just blanked on it because I just blanked on it. But um, if you have any sort it's of all right, collection, our weeks are weird right now. <laughs> yeah. We're in a weird week yeah. moment. If you have any sort of collection, great or small, or if it's specific, or it's just kind of a lot of everything, um, direct message us on Twitter up to four pictures, and we'll feature you on a Saturday. Hashtag show me your collection. You can look up that hashtag and see some of the other ones that we featured. Some of them are very large and have taken years, and some are very short and small, and they're very specific, but just as cool. So Roger, we love seeing what everybody's into, and we love seeing the diversity in, in what people like. So even amongst the three of us, though we have some overlap, we're all kind of vin- vintage first, yeah. and then other things have grown from that. Um, our three collections are actually pretty different. So. Very different, yeah. And in good ways, awesome ways. You get to go over each other's houses and and be see, excited to see, see different you have, stuff. You don't have in your yeah. place. We don't all have the same oh, stuff. Yeah. But you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, Join in the conversation. We love chatting with you, and we love uh, hearing from you. And thanks for listening. From Josh and Trevor and Andy. Thanks. Holy Thank you all. Where's the lead out on here? Oh, yeah, there's not one. Do you want me to do the Mace Lives like live? Let's do Mace Lives right here. Thank you. Mace lives, lives, <laughs> lives. Yeah, this lives. is the lead out. This party's over. What you say, Mace? Take a seat. Oh, stand. For your own good, stay out of this thing. Oh, yeah, Mace. Mace talking big. If what you've told me is true, you will have gained my trust. Mace trust. Us.